Okay, boys, the Eagles grind one out and win 20-16. to This game was interesting because it, it was ugly, but at the same time, some things weren't. I mean, the time management that the Eagles had was great. The way we, we sustained drives, we used clock, we did what we wanted to do. We moved the football downfield. Carson Wentz was involved. He looked like himself at times making plays, making defenders miss in the pocket. He was getting rushed a lot, but when it came to clock management, time management, when we were moving the football at the speed that we wanted to, it was a success. We didn't cash in all the time. Some penalties were there. It, it did feel like we grinded this bad boy out. The Colts. You look at the Colts. Okay, you have Frank Wright coming in here. And I think he did a hell of a job. He really did. I got to give respect out to him and the Colts defense. The Colts defense played very, very well, except for one drive of the game with some costly penalties that we will get to. But when Frank Wright came in here, knew what Carson Wentz tendencies was, knew about Doug Peterson, I think he actually had a really good game plan in this game. But the Eagles grinded it out, and a huge play by the Eagles defense got this jump, got the job done, and improved us to two and one. So first half, we we were rolling with it. They had two plays that were chunk plays. Jalen Mills with a pass interference on T.Y. Hilton, which I expected to see some point into this game. And then on top of that, the Eagles defense did so well that they actually allowed Andrew Luck to have some space and run for 30 plus yards, which come on, we shut down every option and that's what happened. First half, it was all us, but we allowed them to kind of hang in the game. We allowed the Colts to hang in there. When I look at some receivers, Dallas, uh, well, you know, tight end, Dallas Goddard. He had a touchdown. He was catching the ball. We saw him a lot more today. A lot more. Jordan Matthews had a couple catches in the slot. Get some cheers from the Eagles fans. But it's noticeable that we don't have options with wide receivers. It's noticeable. I mean, if I'm an opposing team, I'm looking at the tight end play. Zach Ertz and Dallas Goddard. Of course, you have Nelson Aguilar in there too. But I'm just saying, we are clearly hurting on the back, on, on the on the sides. We really are. We go heavy on tight ends. What else do we see today? We saw the defense. Derek Barnett with a beautiful sack at fourth and third at our four. At our four to stop him. And that gave us the ball back. But before that happened, when we were getting our drive going to win this football game, and we were down and Carson Wentz had to go on a drive, Try an 11-plus minute drive. Carson Wentz was 8 for 8, and we had 18 plays. Now, we did get some help on a fourth down, ballsy Doug Peterson call. You have the Colts on a holding penalty, and that allowed us to continue the drive. The drive was filled with Colts penalties, and that allowed us to keep going. But we held the ball for 11-plus minutes, 18 plays, 8 for 8 for Carson, and we drove down there and put it in with Smallwood on a nice run. Speaking of the run game, you had Corey Clement, you had Adams, who did very well, Smallwood as well, pounding the rock, going for extra yards. It was ugly, but at the same time, there were positives to take out of it. Carson Wentz had two turnovers, he had an interception, which was just a really bad read. The defender picked it up instantly, they were trying to go to Ertz there, he put it right into the bread basket, and then there was a play where he was trying to get it out, it gets deflected by a Colts lineman, and then... They end up scooping the ball up and scoring points off of it. It I, I hate to say it reminds me of last year because week three we we grind one out with a sixty plus yarder to win it in, in in a game against New York. And today we grind one against the Colts. It's it's a win. It's a win. I still think we have some things to work on. Carson, he looked good. I mean, his stat line was 24-36, 247 yards, a touchdown, and two turnovers. What I do think he needs to work on, which he will get the flow of that, obviously it's been quite some time, decision-making, right? I, I saw a little bit extra time in the pocket, a couple, you know, he wanted to, he didn't, looking for his next route. Sometimes, he, he, you know, we're used to him seeing quick, 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 doing what he wants to do with the football. There was a time where, because he dumped it off, it was 2nd and 18, but instead he should have just threw it at the feet, lived another down, and it would have been 2nd and 10. We lost 8 yards because he was trying to make a play with it that wasn't there. But I think that will come with, with gaining more experience since the injury. 
He was looking deep on Nelson Aguilar one route there. Safety made a beautiful play, but if he didn't make it, that was a touchdown easily for Nelson Aguilar. Our defense comes up big, comes up big again. And Derek Barnett with a beautiful, beautiful sack to make it happen. He had a couple nice plays. He looks like a beast coming off that line. He's got some fire coming off that line. 20 to 16, the Eagles get it done. 20 to 16, the Birds are now 2 and 1 on the season. Build off of it. Build off of it. Potential Alshon Jeffrey coming back. The use of Dallas Goddard really make me, makes me excited. We've seen him a little bit more today. He was effective catching balls, scoring touchdowns. The only thing defensively that scares me sometimes is people know to attack Jalen Mills. He actually had two pass interference calls on T.Y. Hilton. But then there's plays where in the end zone, he's making beautiful adjustments and smacking the balls down. It's like when it comes to speed, when it comes to longer routes, that's where he has his issue. But when it comes to red zone opportunities, all ain't shut down. McLeod goes out with an injury as well. Hopefully he's okay. He had to go to the tent. He had to go to the locker room. Jason Peters, that was a big question mark for me. How will, how will he play? Because obviously last week, left the ball game. Didn't hear his name too much. What's that tell you? Two and one. At the end of the day, two and one. No matter how ugly it is. No matter how ugly it is. We get a win. Carson Wentz is back. Our defense wins us the football game. And let's build off of it. The positives... Dallas Goddard w w looked good. We, we finally saw some of him. And we, we moved the ball. The time on the clock with the ball in our hands was beautiful. We just need to execute from there. We need to execute from there. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this big time W. I'll see you next time.